Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning how to create a quiz. First of all write any username and submit the name. And here you can see there is a quiz rules which you have to follow strictly during the game. And when you click on to let start button the quiz would start. And there are four options and here you can see there is a welcome to the username as well. Okay. And there are 10 questions with 100 points for each and every correct answer you will get 10 points so I am choosing the answer randomly and let's see how much point will I get okay okay let's choose the second one okay here you can see uh, there is a hacker well done which I have written the username and there is a point I got that is 40 so let's start making it up so okay here we have a lots of file uh, html css and a javascript to get this file you need to go to the description and then click onto a google drive link and then you can download a zip file so okay first of all we'll be working on a name and a rules we'll be working on a materialized css for our home page design so first create a nav with a class of a nav wrapper and that would be in a color black so let's open it on a browser okay here we have our navbar now create a div with a class of container inside and add an anchor tag with a hashtag of a home.html link and now we'll add a logo for that add a class of a brand logo and that would be align center and let's write quiz okay here we have our quiz okay now create a section tag with the class of a container section and then inside create a div with the class of a row and inside create a div with the class of a column s12 l6 and add a offset of l3 okay and then inside we'll be creating a form with the class of my form and then I would name ID and add on on submit that would be submitted event okay you can now create a s4 tag with a class of a center aligned and add a white text and let's write a contestant name okay let's see okay uh, first of all let's add our background image for that work on our body and add a background image of a url pic.jpg and add a background position of center background size would be cover and a height of 100 vh okay okay um we have an error okay let's see this is uh okay this is center align okay let's see okay it looks beautiful now uh, we'll be adding our progress bar for that create a div with a class of a progress and inside create a div with a class of indeterminate indeterminate okay let's see our progress bar okay uh, it looks good uh, just let let us change the color to put it yellow okay it looks beautiful now we'll add our input for our name that is div with a class of our input field okay now add a uh, i with a class of a material icon and that would be white text and write a account box okay here we have our user box now we'll add one more input for to write our name that would be input type would be text and a class would be white text and id would be name okay let's add a prefix in here and put a label for name and write name here okay okay now it looks beautiful okay so after this we'll add our submit name button for that create a p tag with a class of a center and add a button 
that is type would be submit and class would be btn blue okay here is our button and now right on click so this will save your name okay on click this dot style dot display okay and that would be none okay and let's write it submit name okay now we have to add a script uh, JavaScript as well to make it save when you write the name okay now come to a script part and now work for a function that is submitted event submitted e is e that prevent default okay okay this is prevent and let's say let name n a m w -E equals to document dot firm uh, id and a name dot value name dot value okay and the session storage session storage dot set item it's the name comma and a double e okay okay now we'll be adding our quiz rules for that create a div and inside a p tag with a class of a white text and a background would be green and write quiz rules okay okay here's our quiz rules okay now just copy paste it and change the text okay and the front one would be also changing our class also that would be black text with a white background and write the rules which you want uh, which you want in your quiz game okay okay um these are our rules so uh, let's add some padding go to home.css and work for a p tag write a padding of a 8 pixel okay now we'll add our progress bar here again just copy and paste it okay here you can see our uh, second progress bar now we'll add our let's start button for that create a p tag with a class of a center and anchor tag with a quiz.html and add a class with a button blue and write let's start okay here's our let's, let's start button okay now the second part will be working for our quiz question okay now come to quiz.html and create a div with a class of a wrapper and inside create a div with a class of a quiz and again inside create a div with a class of a quiz underscore header and inside create a div with a class of a quiz underscore user okay now write a s for tag and write welcome exclamation mark okay and write a span with a class of a name okay now come down and create a div with a class of a quiz underscore body and inside create a div with and write and give a id of a questions okay now we are writing our question here okay now come down and write uh, for our next button for that create a button tag with a class of a btn next and on click event uh, write next function and write here next question okay now let's see in our browser okay here we have a welcome and next question we haven't added any js yet so we cannot see uh, our question so now go to the quiz.js okay write let questions equals to big bracket and close it with a okay and then inside write the id equals to one and write question write your question inside a quotation mark okay and write the answer as well after each comma okay uh, write answer that would be random access memory as you all know that okay 
and put a option that is options okay so that you won't get an uh, error and write any options you want okay okay so you can add as much question as you want and just uh, copy and paste like this up to uh, and give ID uh, different ID for each question and also give the right correct answer as well so let me show you my questions uh, slowly okay you can see what I have wrote I have wrote 10 question and that would be of 100 points so now come down and create a let question let question underscore count would be 0 and write uh, window dot unload window dot unload equals to function write a uh, so question count okay now write a function so count and write a uh, let question equals to document dot get element by id that would be questions as you know that we have written in quiz dot html okay and write let first second third and fourth equals to question equals to questions count questions count dot options okay and down below we write a question dot inner html question dot inner html okay now with the s2 tag q dollar count plus one okay dot count plus one dot dollar with the questions count dot question okay with the s2 tag close okay and write uh, uh, another list write uh, another list with the class of option group option underscore group and add a uh, list that you do for your first second and third option okay write for first and close the ally that that is list and do it for all second and this is third and for the fourth okay and close the another list and write the toggle active okay and close it and come down below and work for function toggle active and let option equals to document query selector all and ally dot option okay and now for let i equals to zero that is i is smaller than option dot length okay now i double plus increment that is okay now option i dot on click equals to function equals to function and for let i equals to zero and i smaller option dot length i double plus as well okay now if option i dot class list dot class list dot contains active and do it same for the remove as well option i dot class list dot remove active and come down below and write the same for the class list dot add active okay okay now go to go to the quiz.html and link the quiz.js okay now come to the quiz final.css and work for a body and add a background image of url pick.jpg as well and add a background position of a center as well and a background size would be cover and a height would be 100 viet and also add a font family of a sans serif okay now work for a class of a wrapper okay here you can see our wrapper 
okay now and add a display would be flexed and write a justify content that would be center and uh, aligned item that would be center as well and width of 100 vw and a height would be 100 vh we're gonna work for class quiz quiz sorry and that would be display grid and a grid template row would be 60 pixel auto and add a width of a 600 pixel and a height of a 500 pixel and a border border radius would be 50 pixel okay now work for a class quiz underscore header display would be flex justify content would be space between border bottom left left radius would be 3 pixel and a border bottom right radius would be 3 pixel as well and add a border color of a white and box shadow would be 2 pixel sorry 0 pixel 2 pixel 5 pixel and a 1 pixel and add a rgba of 0 comma 0 comma 0 point 0.1 okay and add a z index of a 1 okay uh you will not see right now because uh we haven't made our body so work for our quiz user display would be flex airline item would be center and a height would be 100 percent and a padding left would be 30 pixel okay now work for a quiz body padding would be 20 pixel and a 30 pixel and add a background color of a sky blue background color of a sky blue okay so okay here you can see our body as well now okay now we'll be working for our option now so go to a CSS file and work for class option underscore group and put a list style type of none and a margin would be 30 pixel 0 and work for a class of option display would be block and add a width of a width of a 300 pixel and a background color would be white as well and a margin bottom would be 20 pixel okay, margin bottom would be 20 pixel and add a padding of a 15 pixel 20 pixel and a border radius would be 50 pixel and add a border of 2 pixel solid transparent and a transition would be 0.4 s all okay okay this is options not option as i have already told you okay now work for option hover for a cursor pointer and add a border of a 2 pixel solid 341 f97 okay and a color would be same as well okay here we can see our hover it looks great okay now work for our option active when we click onto it okay now the uh, background color would be same as well and add a color of a white okay now we'll work for this uh, next button now okay now go to quiz.js file and work for the function next and write if question count uh, equals to question length minus one that is when you have a last question then go to the page final that html for that location.href equals to final.html which will show the award and the points that you have earned okay now uh, okay this is console.log question count okay now let the username user answer sorry equals to document dot query selector it is list dot option dot active done dot inner html and if user answer uh, is equals to uh, questions that is question count dot answer then give point uh, plus equals to 10 okay when you have uh, your choose the correct answer it will give you plus 10 points for every correct answer okay now write the session story dot set item and point point and write console log points okay now questions count and so question count okay we have forget something uh, come up here and write uh, let points is equals to zero okay okay now then come to user info dot js and then write let user underscore name is equals to session storage dot get item 
it would be name and uh, let user points is called to session storage dot get elements points as well okay now come down and write document dot query selector with a span dot name dot inner html equals to username and document dot query selector with a span dot points this is span dot points sorry I had made a mistake dot inner html equals to user point okay now okay now go to uh, quiz dot html and also link the script source with a uh, user info dot js okay now go to quiz final dot css and work for the button next and add a border of a none and a padding would be 15 pixel 35 pixel and a background color would be same as well and a color would be white and a border radius of a 50 pixel and a transition would be 0.4 s all okay now we'll add a hover effect after this this dot btn next hover and a cursor would be pointer and add a background color of a green yellow and uh, the color would be black okay okay it looks good okay now let's see what we have done up to here okay I have first forwarded it uh, so that we can look the end and okay when we have finished our uh, quiz it will come to the final that HTML page so now at last we'll be working for our award section that is points and award okay okay now create a div with a class of a wrapper and inside create a div with a class of a border and inside write a i class with a fas this is our font lesson we'll be using that is award uh, underscore icon not our underscore hyphen for icon okay now with a style of a margin with a 10 pixel 0 pixel 0 pixel and a 130 pixel and add a color of a gold and come down below and work for s1 tag that would be class would be username and span with a class of a name and add a style with a font size of a 50 pixel font size would be 50 pixel and add a color of a white and add back write a br well done okay and then come down below with a write p tag with a class of a user points write your points and your points and the span with a class of a points and style add a style with the color of a green yellow okay now add a script source and also connect it with uh, user info.js okay now come to quiz.finalcss and work for award icon display would be black and add a font size of a 300 pixel and a color would be black okay and work for username class username and write here comma and class points color would be white text align would be center and uh, add a margin top of a 15 pixel okay and now work for class border height would be 500 pixel width would be 500 pixel as well and add a display of a block justify content would be center and a margin would be a 0 pixel 400 pixel and a border radius of 10 pixel and top would be 100 pixel and a border color would be transparent okay let's see our work okay uh, open this uh, on our browser okay here we have our award and our name and okay this is span that point as I've already told you okay So okay we have finished making our quiz so let's check it for our last time and review it. Okay. So uh thanks for watching guys and I hope you liked my video. 
so please do like and subscribe my channel and about 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribing my channel and i have been working very hard so please do like and subscribe my channel and support me and you can join the membership as well so thanks for watching guys see you next time bye bye